Prince family are desperately trying to get to 10 million subscribers by faking a whole drama storyline to their audience. Like, it is so intense that they got their dad involved and they're using a passed away family member to really manipulate their audience's emotions. And they're definitely no stranger to this and today we're going to get into it and break everything down. Get this video to 1,000 likes and I'll probably do part two. Comment below and let me know if you're ready because is you ready because this is a lot. So it all started from the Prince family's dad by uploading the video. Now my theory is is that Damien was probably calling old Damien and was like hey dad uh, we need some views. Uh, we need some more subscribers, so I want you to look like an idiot and put our business out there. Can you do it? Oh, sure, son. I'll do anything for some extra cash. So, he gone, uh, go on the internet and upload this. This has been wearing heavy on my heart. My heart is hurting because Damien don't, Damien and Bianca don't want to speak out and talk about their invasion and privacy. I don't want to lose another son. And listen, listen, it just gets crazier when he brings up his passed away son to manipulate your emotions. You know, I talk about a lot of stuff to you guys. I share a lot of things with you guys because I look at you guys not like just subscribers or followers. I actually look at you guys as your family members. You gotta be careful with YouTubers that say that. I'm not saying that all of them have the worst intentions, but some of them a little bit cuckoo for Coco Pox when they call you family members because these people are not your family. They see you on the road, they're not gonna be like, yeah, come over for our barbecue, sweetheart, because we're family members. Like, no. This is just a way to get your emotions attached to him as a person and the situation. And we know this to be true because he has recently stopped opening him up about his life and decided to keep things off social media like he recently spoke about in a video. Like, basically we don't have to show everything. You guys would be surprised what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But I choose what I want to show and what I don't want to show. For instance, nobody knows if I'm dating or not. They never will, they never will know if I'm dating. They will, I would never give social media the opportunity to go on YouTube or Instagram to see who photos I'm liking is sacred to me. There are certain things I would never show on the internet because it's crazy. You want to show your, show your new found happiness, but you know what happens when you do. You know, people slide into the DMs talking crazy. People start sending the other person stupid stuff. And I love it, man, because my life is private. I finally got the life that I wanted. I once told a person one time, and stuff, and stuff. So apparently there was rumors about a home invasion with uh, the Prince family. Now, I never heard about this rumor. I guess some T-Page talked about it. I'd never seen it. But he talks about that and plays on that. There was rumors about a home invasion and stuff like that. And it was never actually really spoken about but what you guys don't realize is the rumors were actually true. Um, there was actually multiple home invasions. Now, this part may be true. Now, Janae Experience, who used to manage Prince, the Prince family, taught them this blueprint, right? Told them about using a situation that has happened and act like it's happening now, your current moment. I can't speak for everybody, but what I prided myself in, the stuff that I did, was the storylines. Like, taking in real life situations and doing the videos. Well, first of all, it is really weird for them not to talk about it, considering years ago, they did talk about their home getting broken into, etc. And now, all of a sudden, in their recent video after this, they're talking about, why would you talk about it? We'll talk about it when we're ready. It's like a whole different vibe. That's why I think this drama is so fake, because they're trying to create drama from a real-life experience that happened. Most likely, yes, they probably did have someone try to come into their house, etc. Using that to fabricate a fake drama between them and their father so they can both 
benefit from the situation. But they're using their dad to look like an idiot because they know he's desperate and wants to grow his channel on YouTube. So basically, his excuse to bring it to the internet is that Damien and Bianca should speak about it. You know, talk about it on the computer. Because if you don't, you relive in this into drama. You relive in your drama. It's like, no, it's called going to a counselor and talking about it to them if it's that bad. Then maybe later on going onto the internet if you feel like you need to. But if someone had a real dramatic experience, you wouldn't go to the internet to put it out there. And he knows this. He's not that dumb. Because sometimes they say if you can if if you're able to confront something that happened to you you're able to move away from it and uh, you know accept the fact that this has happened now to make things more interesting to add on to the mix to make you guys feel like this is a this is a serious situation what he did was bring up a real situation about his son that passed away and drowned in the lake it does kind of help you know when i lost my older son you know it hurt it you know, it didn't take the pain away when I made videos talking about losing my son, but it did help a little bit. You know how he's gonna visit his son's grave after this and be like, yeah, we use you for some clout, by the way. Right, bitch. Like, I don't know how he's gonna do that. Now, this isn't the only time that Damien Cryer has used his son's situation to garner some attention or some engagement to his channel and some real creepy situations as well to a point where everyone actually thought that he was responsible for his son's death. Roll it. End up reacting to their diss track together. And here's the actual lyrics of this diss track. And then the second verse of the diss track, right? Damien started talking about his son and Damien telling him that he would smack him up if he disrespected him again. He also opened up about Damien was sleeping on his couch for five years, right? As you can see here. And then he also said, I bought you in this world and I will take you out. Now the next part is extra, extra creepy, okay? It says, you better watch your mouth before you come up missing. I had the police out there on speedboats fishing. That's really disturbing, y'all, because if you don't know, Damien's brother, Damien Cryer's son, actually went missing. And they were divers out there swimming in the lake, and there were boats, etc., trying to recover the body. Now, is it my place to do it? You know, I'm the dad. I feel like I should bring awareness to this right here. Okay, talk about your situation. Do you know what? It's very much my story to tell and it is very much my business. They choose to talk about it when they're comfortable talking about it. I choose to talk about it now. Oh, the sassy Damiana is coming out. I choose to talk about it now. He wanna talk about it now because it's his business to gain some subscribers and help his son get to 10 mil. Reattempt. Now, if you see my previous reaction video that I did on Damien Cryer, you would know exactly what he's talking about here. And apparently it doesn't involve his ex-baby mama, and it, it's completely different. Going on investigation, that's why I never spoke on it. I had a robbery attempt on me while I was in my garage washing one of my cars. It didn't even matter. You know what matters to me? What matters to me right now is the truth. Because the truth is I already lost a son. Oh, so dramatic. Honestly, guys, do you think this situation is real? While you're here, go check out this video that I did recently on Damien Cryer. I think you'll enjoy that too.